I appreciate you doing it. So, I'm sorry. Encourages you guys to play fast. Do you guys think you played too fast in the beginning and so the close shots, easy shots weren't falling? Uh, Coach kind of told us we were playing too fast. I think um, when, we, when we see another team that likes to run, just like we do, we try to we get a mentality that they, they can't outrun us, so then it just becomes a track meet and then we're just playing way too fast. But early on, we, we started coming out and she was turning the ball over, making little silly plays and uh, getting kind of settled down. And, Got into our offense. 17 threes in, in your last five games. What's gotten into you? Uh, just shooting the ball. Um, guys are finding me. Frank, every time he drives, he's looking for me. Uh, Landon, when he get off his rebounds, uh, kicking it out, and just being ready to shoot, and that confidence that the coaches got in me, telling me to let it fly. Um, so I just shoot. How amped was Josh? Uh, he was really excited. You know, I mean, you can't blame when he's from Michigan. Uh, that's like me playing against NC State, UNC, Duke. So you know, just being really excited just to play against a team from your hometown. Did you sense that Michigan State was playing on their heels? Uh, they kind of had us on our heels at first. Um, and fast break, we weren't really getting back. But um, once we started stretching it out and, and making buckets and, and, and getting stops, you can kind of tell that they kind of tensed up and it was on their heels a little bit. Coach Izzo says that you guys run the best fast breaks he's ever seen. What makes your fast break so effective? Uh, I feel like we got four guys who can they start, like me, Frank, Svee, and Josh can just get the ball and go. Uh, he might not be the best one to do it, but uh, definitely me, Frank, and Josh can, can be like a one-man fast break. And we run the floor so well, it's spot up and shoot, so it's kind of hard to contain the dribble and get out to the shooters. And, uh, it's really hard to guard. Dante, going back to Kansas City, what are you guys feeling right now? Uh, we're just excited to, to get this win and get back to uh, KC. You know, you get to play in front of your fans again. Uh, last time, we kind of... We, we kind of we lost, and uh, so we just want to get back and, and play in front of the It's like getting stops. If you can get stops, um, you get run outs, you get easy easy shots on your side, and and you know it just makes the game flow better. And uh, you know everybody who came in did a great job, and that's what helped us uh, you know make that run. What was this? What kind of battle was this today? Uh, it was a tough one, you know. It was, a, it was good um, for us to get prepared, you know, moving forward. Um, you know, they were a good team. Um, every possession mattered, and uh, we had great, you know, bench play. Uh, you know, Legero came in, made some great plays, and Dwight was, you know, the, the biggest player in the game. So um, that was that was huge for us, especially moving forward. Landon, you were particularly aggressive on the glass. Was that a point of emphasis going in? Uh, it's always a point of emphasis for me. Um, I, I think my aggressiveness kind of uh, went away in the second half when I was picking up. Some fouls, um, you know, uh, and I got to make sure that I, I play better without fouling, so I'm able to stay aggressive on the boards. But in the first half, I was able to get to it, and, and that was good. And that hook shot it looks like it's something you're starting to become really comfortable with. Oh, uh, it is. Yeah, I've been trying to work on my left and right hand, you know, jump hooks because I know I can catch it in the right positions. I just got to, um, you know, be able to to hit that jump hook. So in the first half, it was falling. I think the second half, I forced a couple, but um, overall, it was alright. Wait, how do you think you match up against the size of Purdue? Uh, yeah, I think we match up fine. You know, we we played big teams before in our league. We've been playing big teams um, all year, so uh, it, it's nothing new for us, and we're looking forward to the challenge. You go back to Kansas City. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's that's what we wanted. You know, so we're 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 finally uh, you know heading back home, and, and this crowd was great. I mean, it was mainly Jayhawk fans, but we know that that uh, Sprint Center is going to be rocking for us. And then you guys are, I think that by the end of the night will be one of 16 teams. And like somebody mentioned, you guys are going home. What's the biggest key now for the next two-game tournament for you guys? Well, now is when, um, you know, the, the really good teams um, are still in the field. And, and, you know, if you've made it this far, you've done something. So we know that uh, moving forward, we just got to stay together, stay focused, um, and, and really just um, lock into what the coaches are saying. There's going to be some keys to the game. we got to make sure we uh, do those things. Talking about going back to the Sprint Center, do you awesome. feel like? The crowd was uh, packed with KU fans. And when we went on runs, we got them into it. And, and I can only imagine uh, what it's going to be like when we get back to the you were checking in there with about two minutes to go. That's when Josh had the dunk in traffic, and then Frank comes in with the, the scoop lamp. And you seem to be enjoying it over yeah, there as you're waiting to check in. Was that because of maybe the chippiness that was going on during the game? Was it just yeah. the realization that you guys were moving on? What was uh, both? That? Both. I, I mean, at that point in time, for the last like, I mean, pretty much the second half, I was on the bench so much with foul. I was watching it as a fan with with you guys, and it was just so exciting. That, you know, most of the time I'm on the court, you know, worried about what I'm supposed to be doing. And, stuff, and I was able to just kind of sit back and watch this.
cool. definitely expect it from him. Thank you. Gerald, uh, Purdue's up next. They have a really, they have a large roster. What do you guys see in that that matchup? Uh, you know, I watched them a couple of times. Uh, you know, I just know that they're big. Uh, so it'll be a bit of toughness game, rebounding game. So we'll take a week off and uh, we'll uh, come back, be ready, get prepared. Vic, one of the first things you guys did when you got back here in the locker room was you broke it down around Dwight. What was, uh, what were you guys saying and, and how great of a performance did he have for you guys tonight? Oh, uh, you know, it definitely was his time. And, uh, he was ready with his judgment's call. You know, uh, he had an um, injury and stuff, so, you know, definitely a great moment for him. And, you know, he really contributed off the bench, so definitely excited for him. Any thoughts on going back to Kansas City now? Uh, you know, we got some unfinished business, so definitely excited to go back to KC, you know, the fans and everything, so it was definitely very exciting. What was the yeah, defensive, defensive rebounds? I mean, you just tell us a lot today. What was the difference in that second half that let you guys pull away? Uh, I think it was the last 10 minutes. We played really hard. Uh, we started playing really hard in the defensive end, and that's what gets the lead the offense. And was the atmosphere in here about as good as uh, as you could imagine for a second round game? Oh, yeah, definitely. It was a lot of Jayhawks fans, and, uh, you know, they always travel with us. They're the best, best fans in the nation, and they always give us energy. It's going to be a great atmosphere here. Can you imagine now what it's going to be like to get to go home to Kansas City and play? Yeah, I hope. I know in Kansas City there's going to be a lot of fans and they always like encourage us during the games, giving us far, giving us energy. And I think it's going to be really fun to play in Kansas City. What were kind of the defining moments in this game where you really got, it felt like you guys started to uh, kind of put them away? Oh, uh, yeah, it was last 10 minutes when we started playing really good defense. You know, they scored really easy, got a rebound, and, uh, you know, they, that's what we need to win. I'm trying to catch Coach's eye, like, I'm ready to throw you in the game. Uh, yeah, try to look, but I don't, I don't know if we're looking by so. Yeah, he got me in the in the office. How do you feel about the way you play? I feel great. I know everybody back home in the Bahamas is watching because Tom was playing and I was playing, so they wanted to see the Bohemian matchup who was going to win. So when you go back to the Bahamas during the offseason, you got a little something to say about uh, I got something to brag about. I got something to brag about. What were you most proud of in your contributions today? Uh, defending. You know, when they, they kept throwing inside the post and they kept walling up and they weren't, they weren't able to score. And, yeah, that's about it. Dwight, can you tell us what Coach said to you guys after the game? Was there a certain message knowing you're, you're moving on to this Week 16? I uh, just say proud of us and let's continue to work, um, work and get better. We got two more games in KC we got we to gotta take care of. You know, uh, there's some unfinished business there because of the way you guys finished in the Big 12. Yes. Is that motivation? Yes, it is. We got, we got to take this, the, the taste of our tongue and, and get out there and, and hopefully win. You mentioned having bragging rights. When you go 